Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, located in Central Maryland in the U.S. Welcome to another day of Celebration Creativity, where I'm showing you a project that I've used that I actually got for free for placing a qualifying order, and you can do the same. But time is short. Celebration ends tomorrow at midnight. So if you're ready to jump in and do some stamping, let's Let's go. If you get sick, look away from the camera because I'm moving it. And as always, you will see my ceiling, my big light, my head, until I can get the, everything situated down on my um, workspace. So there you see the celebration um, flyer, catalog. The thing has all the good goodies in it. Uh, that you can get with a qualifying order. I'm trying to get my computer to behave and it's not seeming like it wants to. Oh, there I am. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do this and that. All right. So, uh, yeah. Celebration ends tomorrow at midnight, the 31st of August. And with a qualifying order, $50 order, you can earn free things. The Hippos Hippos stamp set, I've shown a project with that. These dies are no longer available, sold out. Rings of Love, that's what I'm using today. You can get that with a $50 order. So, uh, pool Party envelopes, card bases sold out. Stylish Sketches is still available. Silver and Gold DSP, I used that yesterday. With a $100 order, you can get amazing phrases that has 17 stamps in that. Uh, the tree lot die sold out. Can't get that anymore. And the Wonderful World stamp set and the Coordinating DSP you can still get that. Uh, I think I'm going to do a project with that tomorrow. That's my plan for today at least. Host a, a show or place an order of $300 and you can get this exclusive perfect pomegranate stamp set. You can only get that by hosting or placing a $300 uh, show. Join. You have two more days to join and take advantage of this Making Plans collection. You'll get this for free uh, with your starter kit. It has a journal, it has three notebooks, all kinds of die cuts and stickers, and it comes with an exclusive stamp set. This um, making plan stamp set that has 28 uh, stamps in it. So that's pretty cool. But there is more to the celebration. So if you um, don't want anything in the flyer, you can get these special items from either the uh, annual catalog or the July to December. Some things have sold out. The silver foil no longer available. The brush metallic uh, no longer available, but there are embossing folders, there are die cuts, these little gift boxes, and more uh, dies. So the dies are with a hundred dollar order, and these embossing folders and craft boxes you can get with a fifty dollar order. So hit me up if you are interested in getting one of those and getting something free during celebration because it's going to be over tomorrow midnight and I've talked about this online retreat for World Card Making Day if you go to my blog stampinghair.blogspot.com uh, there is a link uh, there is a post all about this online retreat and it's going to be over two days lots of inspiring stamping you'll get PDFs with photos and uh, measurements so you can be prepared ahead of time and craft along with us. Can't make it on the 30th or the 1st. No worries. We're going to have links uh, that ex is exclusive, at least for a couple months, just to people who participate. Register by the 22nd of September and you will get a free pillow gift from me. So, uh, yeah, hit me up. So, today... I am, well, here's the DSP, the Rings of Love DSP, and I used that to create this card, which is perfect. This is a great layout when you have DSP and you can't decide which side, uh, which pattern you want to use, and I did have that problem because I wanted to make a card 
It had these little houses on it. And I love these little houses. And that was my idea to use those. But when I turned it over and I saw this pattern, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't hide that pattern. And in addition to this pattern, there's these tree ring patterns. And then it has like um, really cool colors on the back of that. There's a, a, a check pattern. I think this one has more florals. There's this kind of fall with acorn pattern. There's watercolor patterns. There's these beautiful kind of muted uh, blushing bride and granny apple green. And then I, I really love this. I haven't done anything with this, but these little mushrooms and little butterflies. I just love that. It's so darn cute. But And then there's kind of like a poinsettia pattern with these uh, trees. Um, so I think it's very versatile. So anyway, back to my project. I'm going to be making this project and this was a project that my stamp club made. So I had prepared this kit for them. We meet monthly and I typically have four projects for them, um, them to make. So this one has a mint macaron base, it has a evening evergreen uh, layer. And then I had taken a piece of DSP and it was the measurement for the DSP was four by five and a quarter. And if you check out my blog, I'll have there should be a link below. Um, it'll tell you all the me measurements for this entire card. But I took that piece of DSP and I cut it quarter under corner, and then I'm going to flip these. Actually, I think I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to flip these these just change it up a bit so you can see anyway that is and then I have two punches from my postage stamp punch I think it's rectangular postage stamp punch it's got a really long name so I, I, you only need one I have an extra and then this is the inside of my envelope so hi whoever joined me say hey I'm glad to have uh, some company on this crazy Tuesday just done another day this is we're winding down on celebration so today I am making a celebration card so here's my base and this is four and an eight by five and three eighths and I'll have the metric um, measurements up on my blog I'll be posting that later today so I'm gonna dry fit these so I decided that I'm gonna have houses on my sides and I'm going to use these triangles Let's see that's that so this one goes up here and then this down here because I love that pattern I mean I, it's just I guess I don't know the colors speak to me the pattern speaks to me so I'm going to take some uh, liquid glue and place this on the bottom so the bottom edge against the bottom edge of the cardstock and I want you probably can't see but there is a little gap it doesn't fit totally into the to the cardstock so I'm trying to give it the same amount of um, distance on the right and the left and now this part will go here and the same thing and I, I flipped it over because I just to have that edge closest to me while I'm fitting this in um, it works out better that way for me so I can see what I'm doing basically and then so I'll turn it again and put this one that's the only reason I'm turning it just to have that uh, bottom edge closest to me so I can kind of see what I am doing and the goal is to have the, the little the gap be consistent you want the same amount of uh, space in the cardstock that's showing I guess that's gonna be close enough and then my last piece put some adhesive on that and 
place this down. And that's, it's really helpful to have some liquid glue so you have a little bit of uh, give and play with it to get those, get the DSP lined up with the, the cardstock. Cool. Don't you love those houses and that pattern with each other? I, I really do. And so the next thing I'm going to do is stamp. Now I am doing a little bit of a mashup, so I'm going to use the Nature's Prints, the Hello There sentiment, and this kind of a splattery um, image. So the Hello There I'm going to stamp with Evening Evergreen. And this is going to be punched out with the rectangular postage stamp punch. So I'll just stamp. And this is a just a scrap I have laying around, and I tend to have a lot of scraps. So here's my punch, my rectangular postage stamp punch, and I'm going to make this um, a landscape. So I center it in there when it looks about right punch that out and I've already punched out um, one in in uh, evergreen evening evergreen and now I'm going to bring in my splatter stamp and soft succulent ink and I'm going to stamp off because I didn't I, I thought that maybe this the Soft succulent ink might be a little dark, so I wanted to stamp off before I stamped on top. And maybe I stamped off a third time, but that, that's going to work for me today. And then I'll just add some splatter to my bottom of my card. And since I have my envelope, I'll do the same with that. Just add a bit of splatter. Now, there's kind of a matchy-matchy thing going on. Every once in a while, I like that matchy-matchy thing. Hi, Susan. Hi, Nancy. So glad you guys could join me. All right, so now we're going to start assembling. I'm going to just cut this right in half. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this. And have a little bit showing. So I'm matching up my edges. I'm going to punch and then I'll keep it straight across. And then I'll do the same with this, a little bit of glue. I'll turn it and match that first uh, edge up on the side. This edge that is all, all that that's all the stamping and so now we can put our card front on our card base again I'll be using my liquid glue I do love my uh, liquid glue because it is forgiving that if you don't get it uh, right on the first go it does let you uh, have a little leeway and, and and resetting it. And I'm gonna put my insert in and just about done. And just like celebration, we only have one more day left and time is getting short. So if there's something that you want or you like free things, now is the time to get your order in before tomorrow at midnight, you'll turn into a pumpkin and wish you had uh, ordered. So the last, so I use this um, soft succulent satin shimmer ribbon. I'm going to lay it right across the middle and I'm going to snip this off. Let's see if I can get it close to where. And that will just lay right there. And the way I'm going to adhere it is with my tear and tape. So I'll just lay this right across that middle and then just tear it off. And 
Where's my take a pick? And take the cover off of this. And now bring in my ribbon and lay that right across the edge. Now I did the uh, overhang here, so let's see if I can cut that. Very delicate surgery right there. And some dimensionals on the back of my focal piece. So I'm using these mini dimensionals and it seems like I cannot make a card that does not have dimensionals. Well, I did one. If you, well, did I? I was going to say I did the hippest hippos, but now I'm thinking I popped up the sentiment on that, so maybe I didn't. It's very rare for me to make a card that does not have dimensionals on it. It's just one of the basics I feel like I need. All right. And then this just uh, gets centered on the front of the card. And the last little tidbit is these festive pearls. And I'm going to put some gold on just to give it a little bit of bling. I'll put one over here and then two at the bottom. And these are found in the... July to December holiday catalog, but you can really uh, use them year round. I almost lost my little leftover pearls. All right, so there is the card. Yeah, no one wants to turn into a pumpkin, Nancy. <laughs> uh, so maybe I used not, maybe I used. Um, uh, mint macaron instead of soft succulent. I don't know. Which one do you like better? I think I might like the lighter one, but you can barely see it. Or do you like the houses at the top and the bottom and the houses side to side? So it's just a little bit different. Hey, let me know what you, you think. Um, so I, I will be posting this to uh, Facebook. And you will be able to find a link to the blog post where all the measurements are on my blog in the description below. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can bring you more fun stamping pro projects. Or like and follow my Facebook page. And until next time, remember, stamping is fun. Bye!